Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's an oscilloscope from Tail Equipment. This model is called S54AR. I already released a video about the S54 and um, this one, the AR, is the 19-inch rack version of exactly the same oscilloscope. So for whatever reason, why would they make a 19-inch version instead of this normal bench version? <laughs> I don't know, but I am definitely going to try and play a little bit with this one. I think the, the boards and the schematic and everything is exactly the same. So it's going to be fun to see if this one also got the same really weird trigger. I hope it works. But I will go and inspect the internals first. It is, of course, exactly the same circuit board and all the different uh, knobs and switches and potentiometers and everything is completely the same. The only difference is the mechanical layout and how everything is much, much more stable and not so flimsy. Nah, <laughs> it's exactly the same. I mean, why would you make it this bad? We got a big fat front plate and then there's this thin, absolutely bad Look how thin it is. And then you screw your stuff in this, and then you get this. I mean, why? Look at that. I mean, the... well, well, this one looks like it is in a little bit better shape compared to the other S54A. I will, of course, put a, a, a link to the video in my description so you can see my previous video. It is a rather old one. So it was a little bit fun to get a new scope here in a much better shape. The only thing I could see is this little crack here, but all the knobs and everything turns pretty fine. And I don't see anything leaked or brown or anything like that. So uh, let's just power it up and see what happens. First I put mains in and it's not using any power and then it's using 30 watts. So this is of course brightness and it's 20. Twenty watts only. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. There is actually something with the trigger. Auto trick. See? Why is auto trigger not working? That is weird. Okay, then focus is working. Let's turn, let's dim the light a little bit and let's crank up the speed. Here is the beam. Okay, it is very dim. Scale illumination is not working but so far it seems to be oh it looks like let's try and give it a little bit of signal shall we before it blows up on me or something i don't know what do you think about this i have a lot of problems with the switches here and all that and it is Definitely out of 
getting precious here with DC and balance and anything. See, that is the game, but it's all the way. There's maybe somebody's been poking around with all the different trimmers and whatnot. But this one seems to be working good with the trigger. This is the level, and then the idea is you tune for maximum, and then you can find. I mean, the tricking is uh, also working pretty good with this one. Here's variable sweep. So that is a really, really nice scope, to be honest. And the, the picture is really good as well. It's from 1968 and it is almost working. I could definitely go through all the different amplifiers and uh, yeah, all the details here. But I don't want to repeat everything that I said in the previous uh, video. So if you are into uh, the S54A or the AR, this one, then uh, I will uh, definitely recommend you look at the previous video. This was just to look inside and see if it was exactly the same uh, electronics and, and everything. And I'm so happy to see the trigger here is uh, really, really good because my previous video revealed a super terrible trigger in the other one so it must have been a defect of some sort but this one has a see a dc problem well anyway thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you soon bye bye